Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's DIY project, you will need scissors, a glue gun, paper clips, a bow template, a hole punch, some gems, and you can use ribbon as an option. I'll leave a link in the description bar down below as to where you can find the bow template. Let's craft. All right guys, to make these beautiful paper bows, I just took this template from Ash and Crafts. I took a pair of scissors and I cut out a tracing as my template to make two different pieces that we will put together to make a bow. Now, the type of paper I used, I got from Michaels or Joann's and it is paper, let me zoom in, zoom out for you. It is like a 12 by 12 style paper, decorative paper that I would like. This one is a soft paper and then this one is more cardboard like. So I just took sheets like that, cut, the, cut out the template to make these right here and what we're going to do make sure I'm in frame I have my glue gun already warming up what we are going to do is take our score we're going to take our score and you know how you do those little ribbons that you're going to put on a project on a present I mean and you just rub it through to give it a kind of curl so you're just going to lightly do it to give it a kind of curl. And then you see how it's bent. So we're going to use some glue. We're going to put a dab of glue in the center. And then we're going to fold them to meet in the middle. As such, not straightening out that curve because you want it to be like a bubbly curve. Then we're going to put a piece of glue right here and then we're going to seal it on there we'll add the paper clip and maybe a decorative gem in the front now working with glue gun you have to move kind of quick because it will harden up and flatten out on you I don't want to drop my glue gun. So you want to kind of like eyeball your middle. And make sure you press it flat because as it gets um, hard, it will bubble, if, especially if you're not moving quick enough. There we go. It will harden. So glue guns are very hot. The glue part is, not the gun, but the glue part. So you wanna make sure that you keep it out of the reach of small children. And these are really simple, guys. Then you're just gonna add a dot of glue, and that was hot under my finger. You're gonna flip it over because you don't want the part to show and then you have to press down really quick so that it doesn't create like a huge bubble. You want to press, press, press. Hopefully I knew that was going to happen. Up oh, there we go. Yay. Press, press, press. And see, you already have your your bow. Your cute little bow already. All right. So, now we're going to Let's get a little bit more of that paper. I had some paper left over. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hole punch. And it's just like a staple. I'm just going to punch a hole and it's right down here. This is going to be for the back part because we're going to cover that paper clip. And so I guess I'll, I will use a white paper clip to go onto the back. And you want to make sure that you have the clip part on this end and the longer part up there so that you can actually clip it into your project. So we're going to put some glue around here. And what I like to do is I like to have um, safety pins. Pa not safety pin, paper clip. I like to have my paper clip kind of in place when I am going over it with glue. And then I'm just gonna smear it all around and make sure that it gets on the paper because you definitely want to glue it to the paper. And then you're gonna need to hold it in place. I am going to take this dot that little dot that I cut out. And I'm gonna place it over to hide that glue mess. And then I'm just gonna press. I'm gonna give it a press for a few seconds. Get rid of the stringy glue. So it'll hide that um, that glue. So just be sure not to put too much because as you're pressing the glue, if it's not go if it's not yet hard, it's going to ooze out on the side. Then I have stringy glue everywhere, all over my nails. It doesn't want to come out. Okay. And so essentially that's it. To this one that I made, I added some ribbon in here versus the bling in the middle. Now if I was using ribbon, I probably would not use this dot. Just give it a nice press. And they do have these little blue finger thingies that I do have around. And you can get these from the craft store. So that helps, this helps with the temperature so that you don't burn your finger. So that you can actually press on it. And these were about, I don't know why I want to say $4.99, but of course I used the coupon. I think I, I do believe I got these from Michael's and not Joanne's. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm sure they probably sell them at both craft stores. All right, so let's get rid of some of this glue again. This glue likes my nails. And so since I have the since I have the dot on the back, we're going to do a bling on the front. Move it in place really quick. Just going to hold it there for a few seconds. And now I have a brick wall bookmarker slash bow, bow clip. And they're just that simple. You just gotta make sure you get all the glue. Voila. You just use it like you would use a regular paper clip. Just take a couple sheets, place it in, close your book, and hold your spot.
And that's all to it.